Hello family, Chef Laureus, welcome back to the Love Lab. So excited to have you with me. Today we're making caramelized banana French toast. This is one of those decadent dishes where breakfast and dessert kind of blur the lines, but it's worth every calorie. <laughs> All right, come on in the kitchen, let's cook. First of all, we're going to start by making our custard. Now for our custard, we've got three eggs. We're also gonna put in some cream, a little sugar, a little flour. Yeah, I like a little flour in there. And also, we might add a touch of vanilla. I haven't decided yet, okay? I've got our skillet heating up, and we're gonna start by breaking these yolks up first, okay? And then to that, we're going to add our cream. I'm using heavy cream today, but you can use half and half, you can use milk, you can use any cream. As I say, pick a cream, any cream. <laughs> I happen to like heavy cream, because I figure if you're gonna go this far, you might as well go all out. No sense in stopping now, you know? And here's a little bit of sugar. This is about three tablespoons, because I like it sweet. I mean, I put all of it in, there. I put in about two tablespoons, but you put it in to make it as sweet as you and your folks like it. I've got some butter and a little vegetable oil heating up. I put those in there to kind of balance each other out. The butter will give us a really good flavor. All right, I might add a little bit more. And the vegetable oil in there will also give us a nice little sizzle when it cooks. And it'll also help the butter not get too hot in the skillet. Okay. Today we're using a loaf of brioche bread, and I actually got a pre-sliced loaf so you can see really how it works, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bread, make sure that's all, oh yeah, that's ready. That's ready, <laughs> okay? I'm just gonna dip it in the custard, one side and the other, like just like that, and then put it right there in our pot, our skillet. If you're using a thicker bread, okay, like sometimes you can use really thick brioche or something like that. If you're doing that, then you wanna actually let your bread sit in the custard for a little bit longer so it can soak up all of the flavor to make sure it's not gonna, you know, have sit on there and have no flavor. You know what I mean? Our flour. I'm gonna check our bread. Oh yeah, and prepare to flip it. Oh, pretty. <laughs> a little bit more. And after our French toast is done, we're going to move on to our bananas, okay? The banana portion of the program. Now because this French toast is just made with slices, we don't have to actually let it cook a very long time. If you're doing stuffed French toast where you have a really thick slice like this and you're gonna open it up, make a pocket and stuff it, you have to cook it longer because you want the inside, the filling to get nice and warm. But that's not the situation with this today. We're just doing simple French toast. <laughs> And we're cooking on about a medium to medium high heat. And you see how the flour, just that little bit of flour in there gave us just a little, a little crisp on there, not a ton. Okay, if you want crispy French toast, that's a different recipe. But this will just give us a little bit of, a little crisp on there just to make it, you know, worth a while. While our French toast is finishing, now that we've got the last of it going, we're gonna start on our caramelized bananas. So we're gonna start in the skillet, get the heat going on about medium, with two tablespoons-ish of butter. All right, we're gonna let that melt, and then we're going to add to that some brown sugar, because brown sugar is where it's at. Now my oldest son, whenever I say, where's the brown sugar? He says, right here. <laughs> say, boy, if you don't go somewhere. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, here we go. That one's done. Perfect. And I've turned the heat off there. 
So that is good to go. And I'm letting the French toast sit in this beautiful dish, this tray, while I'm finishing up the rest of it. And don't worry that it's gonna get cold, trust me. It'll be fine, this won't take long. And once we pour this hot sauce on top of it, you know, it will fix whatever could have cooled off. All right, let this butter melt. And as it's melting, we're gonna add brown sugar, okay? We're working with medium high heat, okay? And while that's melting, we're gonna come over to our banana and just slice it up, prepare to slice it up. Now as our butter melts and our brown sugar gets in there with it and those two start getting very friendly, having a good time, now we're gonna add some cinnamon. Now you can put cinnamon in the custard for your French toast, I do that a lot, but when I'm doing it with caramelized bananas, I actually like to put the cinnamon in here. Just sprinkle a little in there. Do as much as you like, What do what makes you happy. <laughs> okay? <laughs> oh, that looks good. Now as this cooks, is the sugar is gonna finish dissolving, and in the meantime, we're gonna add the bananas. And we're gonna let these cook all together. You don't wanna cut the bananas too thick, don't wanna cut them too thin. If they're too thin, they'll just get soggy. If they're too thick, they'll take forever. All right, and now we're just gonna start cooking these together. Look at that. Letting these all come together and be super friendly with each other. I've turned my heat down now to about medium because I don't want this to burn. Okay, see how I'm doing that? And that little sauce under there is a nice caramelized sauce. So we're gonna let our bananas sit for a second. Soak up all the goodness now that the heat's gone down just a little bit to medium. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait. I'm not even gonna play, y'all. I cannot wait to get into this. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh yeah. Ooh, look how pretty that is. It's just bubbling. It's just bubbling. Y'all remember bubbling brown sugar from what's uh, what's happening back in the 70s? Bubbling. Remember that? <laughs> that was one of my favorite episodes. Did y'all see that one? Okay, if you saw it, put a comment down and say, yes, I saw that episode of What's Happening. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, say, bless the Lord. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's give these a little turn. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. See that, it's that, that little drip to it, ooh. All right, I'm gonna turn the heat off because this is done, all right? Now we're gonna put it all together. So now that our French toast is done, our caramelized bananas are done, oh boy, let's get ready to eat. I'm gonna go ahead and put one piece here, one here, and here, okay, and then, this is the good part, y'all. Telling you, this is the part we've all been waiting for. This is this is it. This is that moment. Look at this. <laughs> you see that? Oh my word, that's good. And what you can do is always make more bananas if you need. Well, you can't make more bananas. You can caramelize more bananas if you need them. Or you can always make additional French toast. But look at this oh my goodness i cannot wait to dig in i gotta taste this y'all oh my gosh the bread is even soft and the, oh <laughs> i'm excited oh my god that is so good you gotta make this and, oh that brio spread. And by letting the butter and the brown sugar melt together, the brown sugar dissolves so you don't have little bits of sugar in your mouth. And the slight hint of cinnamon. This is everything. All right, thanks for joining me. I will see you next time right back here in the Love Lab for more Calabama cooking with your girl, Chef Lorius. That's me. Have a wonderful day. Happy cooking. Ooh. This could be like breakfast for dinner. Serious.